Leos! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be from today, October 3rd to October 11th. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go to my meditative session first, but just energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly, or it could be energy that is, sorry, bleh, where are my words today? Or it could be energy that someone energetically attached to you is feeling, or someone within your environment. Keep in mind, it is energy, so it can be vice versa. Then we're going to go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then get into the reading, okay? Leos, your energy was very interesting when I was diving into it. I really liked it. Um, it was very kind of like fun. It was fun. It was playful. It was daydreamy. It was actually very Aquarian, to be honest with you, very Aquarian, which which is your natural seventh, your natural counter counterpart. So maybe you do have, you know, a new someone on the horizon, or maybe you're just harnessing your inner Aquarian here, okay? Um, but whatever it is, Leo, I like it. I like it. It is a little daydreamy, though, so just be mindful that it's very, like, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Star card. You kind of got your head in the clouds. Thank you. That's what it is. You kind of got your head in the clouds a little bit, okay? So that's definitely for some Leos. Now, then I started picking up on a very different energy. So we'll see how this plays out because I do have a feeling that these two energies are kind of interlocked or intertwined in some way. Actually, it's funny that I'm saying those words because that's exactly what the energy was that I was feeling. It was almost like a slow building a slow wrapping, encasing, encompassing. Oh, I just heard thoughts. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, Leo, I feel like you're really in your head or have your head in the clouds. And I feel like it's kind of caught you, not by surprise, it's slow. Thank you. It's been like a slow creep up into this like daydreamy kind of energy, like a very slow build, okay? A very, very slow build. Just be mindful because I feel like you're really kind of up here and you're not really down here. Like you're not really, there's something where it's kind of like maybe the fantasy is running away with itself a little bit, Leo. Maybe the fantasy is running away with itself a little bit, okay? That's only going to be for some of you. But there is kind of like the slow wrapping around you that I'm kind of getting, um, which is interesting because some of you I actually think are finding it draining. This is interesting, Leo. Some of you are finding it draining, but at the same time, very kind of like fantastical and fun and childlike. But at the same time, it's also a little draining. It's actually feeling a little devilish, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's actually been a little devilish now. So like very Aquarian Capricorn. You can be doing the cusper, not necessarily. Um, but it's interesting, Leo. It's very interesting. And like because it has that playful aspect to it. You're trying to enjoy it for what it is, but there's something about it that some of you, not all of you, only some of you are finding this draining here, okay? Um, <laughs> Leo, that's nasty. <laughs> I love you, Leo, but that's nasty. Um, it's like... I like, I want to say it, but I'm kind of, Like, I don't get shy very often when it comes to this stuff. Um, but like, okay, it's almost like... I, I was, I was having that energy of like a cat purring and I'm like, oh, of course you're Leo's. It's making you happy. But uh, someone's making a kitty purr. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Leo. Yeah, just be mindful of this energy. Just be kind of cautious because it's okay to be in this energy, right? It's nice, it's fun. Just don't let the fantasy run away with you. Some of you, it's not, some of you, it actually isn't that pleasurable. Spirit's talking to me. Uh, some of you, that it's not super pleasurable. Some of you, it's actually bordering on like nine of swords a little bit. Like, like you're thinking about situations and how they're panning out. You're thinking of a person and how things are panning out. Like, yeah, some of you, it is very pleasurable. Some of you, it is like fantasy land almost. And others of you, it's like at the other end of the spectrum. Okay, that's why it's also draining. That's why some of you are finding it draining. Okay, so that's what's going on here, Leo. Your heads are in the clouds. Some of you are having fun with it. Very fun, kind of sexual, yummy, fun, daydreamy, childlike fantasies run away with it um and others you're on the other end of that spectrum of energy where it's like your head's in the clouds but in kind of a negative way where you're trying to like see how things are panning out without knowing all the information this is interesting leo and you're finding it a little draining but all this energy is crept up on you no matter where you are on that spectrum it's crept up on you in a slow way because leo's you're you, you don't usually do that <laughs> leo's don't usually do that usually usually leo's aren't you know over analyzers they don't usually have their heads up in the clouds like that leos are usually very grounded very action oriented they don't spend a whole lot of time thinking you know or over overthinking is what i should say they don't spend a whole lot of time overthinking but i'm picking up on leos that are in a positive way and also a negative way about situations here and or people okay i do feel like it is about romance some of you who are in like the more fun kind of daydream energy i feel like it's more about like new romance and you know 
Just letting your mind run away with that. Um, others where it's at the negative end of the spectrum, you've either been in a relationship for too long and it's kind of, you know, you're wondering what's going to happen. And so your mind's running away with that. Or if like you're missing someone, it's going into that festery energy, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. More confirmations there. Yeah, some of you do have a lot of sexual attraction for someone, but um, for some of you, it's like, there's there's a there's always that border. There's always that line of fun, sexual, yummy to like, uh-oh. Where are they? What are they doing? Like missing them. I'm missing them. Why am I missing them? You know what I mean? It's like, it's that fine line between quote unquote love and hate or like, you know, uh, fun daydreams and, you know, anxiety. Okay. <laughs> Leo. Okay. What an intro into this reading. So let's go ahead and get the cards calibrated here. It's my cam. You know what? I'm sorry, guys. My camera's a little fuzzy. Hold on. a lot better i think that's a lot better nope it's gonna fall <laughs> i can just tell hold on okay we're fine we're fine okay leos let's go ahead and get into this please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for leo some of rising venus and jupiter from now till october 11th mm. please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it Oh, damn it. Why did I have to pick up on that other side of things? The, 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 li the lions who are in anxiety versus the lions who are in fun daydream land. Uh, Leos, I'm getting a lot of anxiety for those who are in the festery side of that energy. It's, and you know, it stems from sexual energy. That's what it is. It's stemming from sexual energy. So some of you are in that fun part of the sexual energy where you're just letting your imagination run wild and you're, you know, got the butterflies and all that fun stuff. And then there's some of you where it's like, you've either been in it too long or you thought about it too much, and now it's you're in anxiety mode. <laughs> now you're in anxiety mode about your person or about the situation. Keep in mind this can be vice versa, Leo. Someone could be thinking about this, thinking this way about you. Please move forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now till October 11th. Whew, a lot of heart chakra energy, not in a fun way. Definitely not in a fun way. Um, Leos, for those of you who maybe like who maybe been sitting with this energy too long, or maybe it's been a long time for you since you enjoyed sexual energy. Um, there's something going on with your heart chakra. I feel like purging is about to is about to happen. I don't think you're going through it yet, but if you you know if you're feeling like your chest is kind of heavy, or if you're see, I'm like <laughs> if you feel like your chest is kind of heavy, um, oh shit, or you're getting heart palpitations, things like that. Your heart chakra is trying to purge. It's trying to open. Okay. It's trying to open. Yeah. Okay. This is not for all lions, but some of my lions here who are experiencing that you've got some pain. You've got some pain. You or you have some um, repressed. Thank you. Repressed emotions, repressed feelings, or just repressed energies that really need to come out, Leo. And something's, something's triggering them to come out. Okay. Something's triggering them to come out. And some of you, that's making you anxious. Please bring forth messages of true feeling and love for those who need it. Yeah, I feel like these are lions definitely in like in newer romantic connections and or very prolonged romantic connections. Okay. Where sexual energy has been kicked up for whatever reason or another. And some of you are really in it, enjoying it. Others of you, it's gone festery. It's gone festery. I think. Got it. It's gone festery, Leo, for those in the festery zone, um, because it hasn't been released. It hasn't been released or shared. Interesting. Or shared. Interesting. Uh, please forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11th. Mm. Some of you, this is Kundalini. Ooh, wow. Oh my, Leo. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy with the chariot card. Cancerian energy. You could be a cusper, Leo. You could be a Virgo cusper or a Cancerian cusper. Either way, Leo, this is someone heading to commitment. <laughs> like straight up, heading straight into commitment. Nine of Pentacles upright is the single card. It's the independent card. It's I can do battle by myself in single bachelor bachelorette card but when it's in reverse it's no longer that and chariot is about commitment it is the cancerian card okay uh the card of the fourth house hearth home 
commitment, family, all of that good stuff. Okay, and heading there fast, by the way. Heading there fast. Maybe that's why you have some anxiety too, for some of you. <laughs> I just heard unstoppable. Okay. Well, yeah, some of you guys are having anxiety because you, you just you just know. <laughs> Leos, I love you. Why is this making me giggle? Um, <laughs> some of you just know that it's like out of your hands and you're like, oh shit, that's going to happen. Oh, some of you might have had visions about this. Some of you might have had visions about this and that's why it's also giving you anxiety. And just like, it's an oh shit, it's an oh shit. <laughs> it's an oh shit moment. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Keep in mind, guys, I get multiple messages for all kinds of people. So just hold on to what resonates for you, okay? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Leo. Now I'm actually hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. We are coming into a lot of Scorpionic energy, so that could also be part of this as well. Yeah. Yeah, Leo's, Leo's, look, look at this, look, look at this, look at this, okay. You have the king of who is all about commitment in a tangible way, not just the emotional way, but like in a practical way. The king of pentacles is like, let me put it this way. King of cups is the king of love, king of emotion, right? We always associate the king of cups with love and commitment, which is true, but so is the king of pentacles. This is someone who actually does the work. They don't just say the pretty nice words. They put, they put it into action, they put it into writing, they own up to their shit and they, they, they make it happen. They make it happen. They put their money where their mouth is essentially when it comes to commitment with the commitment card and hitting their fast with the basically no longer being single card or about to not be single anymore. Leos, I understand your anxiety. Some of you might be realizing you really want a commitment after maybe realizing or after maybe telling yourself for a long time you don't. Oh, whoa. Hierophant in reverse, though. Taurian energy. Resistance. Resistance. This is really fascinating. You got a lot of heavy major arcana cards here, okay? Uh, with heavy um, energies around commitment. Leos, I feel like for a lot of you lions, like I said, your head's up in the clouds in a positive way. Some of you, it's festered into anxiety because you've realized that something's heading somewhere really quickly. Um, but there's, re I'm getting resistance with this. I'm getting resistance. There's resistance, and I think that's just the anxiety talking here. <laughs> nine of cups piscean energy oh my god leos this is so funny okay so i'm picking up on leos where there's a lot of fantasy going on here because there's a situation that has a lot of joy there's a situation that has a lot of joy a lot of happiness and it's clearly headed in this direction it's clearly headed in this direction but at the same time it's causing a lot of panic it's causing some panic it's causing some anxiety like well maybe i do just want to be single maybe i do just want to be single but then it's like oh this person brings me a lot of joy though this person actually makes me really happy. Um, please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. And there it is. The two, I can't pick it up. Two of swords, moon, and Libra energy. The decision of what to do. The decision of what to do. For those where this is actually about marriage, this is like a cold feet scenario here. Okay, for those who are like about to get married. That's definitely the case for some of my lions out there. Um, like, oh shit, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to do this? lovers gemini energy yeah leos <laughs> look at this look at this okay look, look 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 at these look at this look at this you've got commitment you've got love you've got practical commitment at that you've got really fast emotional movement towards it all the while being like well maybe i do just want to be single but they make me really happy i don't know maybe i do want to be single but they make me really happy <laughs> it's kind of funny it's kind of cute Please bring forth any other messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Leo. So Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. From now to October 11th. Some of you guys are getting activated by somebody, like heart chakra-wise. It's almost like someone's breaking open your heart chakra a little bit. Ooh. It's making my chest so heavy. Um, God, can you hear it? It's like making me hard to breathe. Um, some of you guys, that's also sexual energy. Like sexual energy is just like off the charts and you're just like, I don't know what to do with this. This is almost, yeah, this is almost too much. This is almost too much. This is almost too much is what I'm hearing. Leo. <laughs> Four of Wands, Aries energy. And on the bottom, you, Leo, strength. Strength. Can I do this? Can I really do this? Is this really what I want? Do I want to be married? Do I want to be committed? Do I want to get into a relationship? Is this really what I want? I don't know if I want this. I don't know. Anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. 
all but like this is really fueled with like love and like sexual passion and practicality as well. <laughs> Leo's, I love you. I love you so much. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get into the the. See, I'm all like I'm all like taken aback by this energy. Let's go ahead and get into the actual reading here, okay, Leo? Oh, I love it. Also, I do feel a lot of movement. So you guys might actually be considering moving or moving in with someone. Okay. Keep in mind, guys, you're all in a different place in your lives, dealing with the same energies. Apply it to your situation and what would make sense. Like if you're just starting to date someone, you're not going to move in with them, right? Um, <clears throat> but these are definitely, this is definitely about ele elevating commitment here with some extra, extra, Jesus, extra added sexual boosted energy kind of going on around you. Okay. Making me all hot, Leo. God. All right, so for those who are new to my channel and new to tarot, please understand these are very general readings. Not all messages will be for everybody, okay? Messages come through for those who need them, as you heard me say before in my intention. Um, it is energy work, so messages can be reversed or vice versa, because energy is not linear, it's fluid. And don't get hung up on the gender of the cards, we all have masculine and feminine energy. And also, don't get hung up on the time frame of the video, it's for organizational purposes, time is not linear. Okay, let's keep it going. Any messages for Leo? Regarding love, from now to October 11th. Any messages for Leo regarding love from now to October 11th? One more. Oh, God, I'm so hot. I'm, like, I'm about to turn on that AC. I'm not even going to lie. I don't like to turn it on, but... Three of Cups in reverse can't Syrian energy here. <laughs> Getting overindulgence with that. Leo... We've had a lot of sexually charged readings recently. Come on, give a girl a break, give a girl a break. Um, I'm getting overindulgence, like wanting to dive in. And I feel like this is like, this is, oh yeah, I'm feeling pulled on my sack girl. Yeah, definitely this is like a, a, a sexual pull, but it's also emotional. It is also very emotional, Leo, especially for those where like you're experiencing a heart chakra opening or your heart chakra is cracking open or you're purging a little bit here. Cause I really feel like you're getting pulled so, so much towards someone or towards a situation that it's like, it, everything's wanting to come out of you. Everything's wanting to break out of you and it, you just can't help but get pulled. And I think that's also why some of you are having anxiety because you're like, I'm being pulled so intensely. How do I stop this? And so you're realizing you can't stop this. I'll be right back. Hold on. Your girl's a little too hot. Okay, Leos, I'm back. Whew. Any other whoa leo ten of swords in reverse gemini energy with the six of pentacles taurian energy here coming out of a cycle here coming out of a cycle with balance you're trying to get balanced you're trying to get balanced you're trying to get balanced you're trying to <laughs> it's hard because you're like you know fant fantasy land some of you have entered into the anxiety portion of the park okay um but you know that there's a big change happening. You can feel it. There's a big shift happening and you're trying to deal with it, but you're getting pulled so much emotionally and sexually that I think it's actually kind of freaking some of you out a little bit, okay? Any other messages for Leo? Any other messages for Leo? I just heard get it together. Yeah, some, some of you are actually, camera just glitched out a little bit yes and we we're like just get it together just get your just get your mind in order it's like some of you are even like talking to yourselves like that any other messages for leo any other messages for leo regarding love from now to october 11th and there's the six of cups scorpionic energy could also be a past life karmic soulmate energy could be a scorpio not necessarily two sixes by the way and since we are starting with the Three of Cups and we end with the Six of Cups as of right now, like I said, this is going to be very fast. Very, 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 very fast. Some of you are coming out of a very tumultuous time. And, you know, even the last reading I did for Leo, it was a little intense. And it was about healing and addressing some wounds here. Some of you are closing a chapter of your life or closing out a relationship or situation, whatever you're finding yourself in. That was kind of painful. That was kind of painful. Um, God, it's making me hard to breathe again. <sighs> It was painful. Some of you experienced betrayal in this. And it's almost like I'm closing the door. 
I'm closing the door and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm closing it. Like I'm closing it and I'm walking away. And it's like the second you do that, you get a huge pull of emotion and sacral energy towards someone else or a different kind of situation okay um this could be happening within a relationship where it's almost like a, a renewal of sorts but i feel like if that's the case you've been together for quite a while like quite a while like years been together for years if that's the case okay either way leos i feel like i'm talking to mostly leos who are trying to put like a bad situation or relationship experience or dating experience behind them and they're coming into something new and it's like it's really balanced there's equal give and take here i just, sorry i just heard it's sane <laughs> i like that it's sane um with the six of cups there's a lot of love there could also be with a past life connection as what the hell come on could also be with a past life connection as well or a soulmate situation sometimes we do meet soulmates guys just to um <clears throat> excuse me just to learn lessons um and this person could also be helping you heal leo so keep that in mind as well <laughs> queen of wands Aries energy could also be fire or water. Yeah, whoever they are, Leo, very attractive. Very attractive, all, a lot of heat. A lot of freaking heat, Leo. Um, this is the energy that you're feeling, but I do feel like it's also representing the other person. Male or female doesn't matter because it's mutual. Thank you, because it's mutual. There's a lot of sexual tension, a lot of sexual chemistry between the two of you. Not to mention, there's a lot of butterflies. There's a lot of butterflies, a lot of nerves too. A lot of nerves. It's cute, it's cute. Any other messages for Leo? Any other messages for Leo regarding love from October 3rd to the 11th? Oh, that's it, Leo. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. This is her overall energy. What did I say? It's very devilish, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very devilish. Capricorn energy, I'm just getting major sexually charged uh, um, energy with this very very sexually charged energy um the devil is not inherently bad guys it's not inherently bad it is also about being balanced in dark and light energy as well it's saturn energy saturn and what is saturn saturn is about discipline right it's being able to handle the tough shit handle the things that are very attractive and very addicting and that pull on you so intensely um sometimes also karmic because it is the planet of karma right um i don't think this is a karmic situation if it is i feel like it's actually healing from karmic shit because like i said some of you are coming out of a really really painful time a really painful time out of a really painful cycle a painful relationship where i do feel a sense of betrayal could even have been a third party situation but i'm getting more of that indulgent energy of wanting to just dive into something here <laughs> dive out of something and diving into something is actually what i'm getting but i don't ex i don't think you expected the pull I don't think you expected that like at all and i think that's also why it's giving you some anxiety it's almost like oh i don't know if i can do this again yeah i don't know if i can do this again but hmm. yeah good luck with that leo <laughs> okay so let's get into this a little bit more here i'm curious about the three of cups in reverse because like i said for some of you it could have been a third party situation well because i am getting heavy betrayal here you could have found out that someone was sleeping with someone else or talking to someone else something of that nature um but yeah, I am getting just overindulgence. I'm getting overindulgence. For some of you, oh, the, sorry, I'm getting a download. Uh, some of you who were, who you were ending something with or coming out of a certain situation, I do feel like heavy party energy with that. I do feel heavy party energy, which actually does feel a little karmic, okay? Some of you guys could have learned that lesson of, oh, I only like this person when I'm intoxicated or, oh, I only like this person when I'm doing this, that, or the other. Not necessarily good things for me. So anyway, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse. For Leo. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse for Leo. Regarding love from now till October 11th. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse for Leo regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse for Leo. Ooh, what did I say? You just wanna dive right in, Leo. <laughs> 
that's actually what I get with this little bit because like the tower it's like they just kind of like fall out right fall out or they're falling descending anyway the tower in reverse scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars energy like I said some of you are coming out of a really awful time or a really awful really I don't want to say awful relationship um difficult we'll say difficult difficult time difficult relationship and there was a big tower moment here because it's almost like that realization of oh yeah this shit don't don't work yeah this isn't healthy for me this isn't healthy for me um but i'm also feeling that resistance that resistance to the diving in to this newer opportunity or like whatever is making you so pulled and on your sacral and your heart chakra um yeah i'm feeling that resistance to go there so i have the three of cups in reverse Twenty of the three of cups in reverse. Twenty of the three of cups in reverse for Leo. Regarding love from now to October 11th. <laughs> Sorry, they're showing me really funny visuals of lions. It's just more of that playful daydreamy energy. It's just very cute. It's just very cute. Uh, for some of you, especially those where it's a newer person, there's something very playful. I can't get off of that. Very, very playful. Very childlike. Um, oh, Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Yeah. Yeah. Leo, sorry. You're getting bombarded with some major love and sexual energy here with someone. Like I said, definitely could be a soulmate or someone you've past lives with. Uh, can, I just heard kindred. Thank you thank you spirit kindred there's a kindred spirit here leo for for you guys um it's it's doing a lot of stuff to your heart chakra and i think it's really it, it's just you're having a hard time dealing with it i know it's not like a broken record but those are the messages time about three cups in reverse time about three cups in reverse for leo regarding love time about three cups in Oh, Leo, I just heard, am I ready? Mm, well, that's a good question. Are you ready, Leo? You Only you can answer that for your specific situation. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Leo, Leo, Leo. Why are you resisting this? <laughs> Why? We've got the Knight of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles. This is love and, like, serious abundance coming your way. Oh, wow, I just heard family material. That's kind of cool. Um, it's also about legacy legacy whoever this is leo whoever this is uh whatever this is it seems like it's gonna be adding a lot to your life and it seems like it's also gonna be very healing overall energy for the three of cups and verse with the knight of pentacles virgo energy could also be earth or fire like i said for those where you're leaving a situation where there was a third party situation we do have two different nights here okay just to point that out um either way leo whatever you're leaving behind you're leaving it behind the door is closed right um, unless again, like I said, there's a renewal within a relationship. If that's the case, I feel like it's more like you've been in a rut for a long time and you're trying to work it out. Okay. Um, but Leo, this is definitely some major, major, yummy, balanced, practical sort of a situation trying to enter your life that is leading you to legacy and honestly security as well. Um, but I can feel your anxiety about it and I get it. I definitely get it, especially for my lions who are still kind of dealing with this kind of betrayal energy or trying to get rid of that betrayal energy. So let's go ahead and look at this. Let's look at the Six of Pentacles. Let's take a look. Let me use this deck. Let's play with the Six of Pentacles. Let's play with the Six of Pentacles. Let's play with the Six of Pentacles. Sorry, they're pulling me back here. It's interesting, Leo, for those where it's, again, you're just, you're getting pulled really intensely. We have the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles attaching to that energy, but I feel like this is almost your energy trying to slow it down. Like, come back. <laughs> Not quite yet. <laughs> yeah, I always feel that because it's Virgo energy. It's slowest moving night, right? Slowest moving night. You can even tell by their helmets. <laughs> Hold on. I never noticed that before. You can even tell by their helmets. <laughs> Fast, swift slow slow sorry i don't i'm being silly i'm being silly okay six of pentacles some of the six of pentacles for leo some of the six of pentacles for leo regarding love from now to October 11th. Like I said, for some of you, this could just be baggage. It doesn't have to be an active relationship that you're leaving behind. It can be baggage, okay? Or wounds of the past, so to speak. 
Tell me about Six of Pentacles for Leo. Ah, there we go. Tell me about Six of Pentacles for Leo. Interesting. Eight of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. Yeah, you're resisting. You're resisting, Leo. You're anxious. Keep in mind, like I said, it can be vice versa. It's like... You're wondering if you can believe your eyes. That's interesting. You're wondering if you can believe your eyes. You're wondering if you can believe what you're seeing. Oh, Leo, don't go there. Definitely from my anxious Leos out there. Don't go there. Um, I'm almost getting a what are they hiding? What are they hiding? What are they hiding? What are they really hiding? What are they really saying? So I have a six of pentacles. Yeah, you still have that betrayal in your head. Ten of swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Leos, we can never make space for the new if we're holding on to the old. I know, I'm sorry, I'm just the messenger. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Okay, sorry. I know, I can't have my reactions. I'm just that person. Okay. Let, let's talk. Let, let, let's go there. Let's go there, Leo. Ten of Cups, Piscean Energy with the Twin Flame card. Now. The twin, flame, fl the twin Flame card doesn't automatically mean this is a counterpart for you. For some of you, it most definitely is that's trying to come in here, okay? For some of you, it most definitely is that you're dealing with a counterpart. Um, some of you, this is just about making your soul happy. This is also just indicative of soul essence, right? Like I was saying, there's kindred spirit energy here, and it's showing with the freaking Ten of Cups, Leo. You're, you're resisting because of whatever you're coming out of. But what's being gifted to you, what's trying to come in, is a really intense ass soul connection, kindred spirit connection. And for some of you, it is a counterpart connection at that. With the Ten of Cups, that is ultimate happiness. You will never be happier than that. Not never, but with the Sun card. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to get. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but that's just what I'm, what I'm saying here. Leo, look at what is trying to come in for you. The Knight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the freaking Twin Flame card here. This, this situation that's trying to creep in into your life or that's pulling you in, whatever the situation is, what's ever pulling on you is leading to ultimate security, ultimate abundance, legacy, and ultimate happiness in home and in family. And it's going to be filled with practicality as well as love and passion. And it's going to make your soul happy and on fire. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else wants to come out for the Six of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles for Leo. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles for Leo regarding love from now. Talk to... <laughs> wow. Spirit's trying really hard to make a point here. <laughs> oh, Leo. So we end with the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Got a lot of knights here. Like I said, I did feel fast movement. Whatever this connection is, it's very honest. It's very honest, and I feel like the person who's pulling on you, um, it's interesting. Whoever, whatever is pulling on you in this situation that's providing all of this amazingness, or trying to provide all this amazingness, uh, I do feel like they're inching closer and closer and closer, well, because they, they sense your resistance, because they sense your resistance. Overall, oh look, you're still resisting. The Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy. Leo, I get it. If you're scared, I get it. You got anxiety, I get it. Especially if you're still dealing with energies of being recently betrayed or wounds of being betrayed especially for those like who are de de dealing with third party situations i get it i totally get it but i'm telling you <laughs> i'm telling you this is pretty freaking beautiful oh yeah not to mention six of cups just tacked on right on top of that for the cherry on top of the cake and all that amazing sexual energy as well yeah leo <laughs> oh leo you're, you're resisting it. I mean, just flat out. You're resisting it. You're resisting it, but it's here for the taking. Okay? I don't feel the need to clarify anything. It's so clear to me. It's so freaking clear to me. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. If you want it, it's here. <laughs> you just gotta deal with that anxiety, Leo. And actually, on that note, let's, let's pick some soul journey cards, okay? Let's get some soul journey cards out here. Oh, Leo. Actually, let me get some water first. Mm. Mm. Okay. 
I just heard um, Speak from the Heart. Why, Spirit? Why are you tell me that? Oh. Leo, there's a lot of fear wrapped up in this, in this, right? This is why it came up twice, because you're still holding on to it, which is why you're trying not to pay attention to whatever this is. Um, there's something about having to be honest with yourself about why you're really afraid of this, of this situation, this person that's pulling on you. Um, and it's also kind of a reminder that this, whoever this is, they are speaking from the heart, even though you want to question them on that, okay? Spirit, anything you want my Leos to be aware of regarding this spread? Spirit, anything you want Leos to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want my Lions to be aware of regarding this spread? God, I almost want to pull a Romance Angel cards out here, but no, I'm not going to. No. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I retired them for a reason. Anything you want my Lions to be aware of regarding this spread? <laughs> oh, I like this, actually. This is really cute. We have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life, not the past, not all that other shit. Humor, humor, the play, the fun, the childlike energy, that six of cups, yummy energy, right? Yeah, focus on that, Leo, focus on that. Don't be afraid to go there. Don't be afraid to like, you know, dive right into that. Don't be afraid to dive right into that. That's really gonna help you kind of, I think, get rid of some of your anxiety with a lot of this because I feel like it's a little triggering for you in the way of, I just came out of that. I dealt with that last time. That looked promising, just like this looked promising. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Just enjoy it in the moment, right? Just be in the moment and just enjoy it. It's like, they're not the same person, unless again, it's a renewal within a committed relationship. Um, Cause I feel like it's definitely within a relationship. I don't feel like this is, you know, a past person coming back into your life randomly all of a sudden. I feel like it's within a relationship or between like new connections, okay? Either way. Um, to enjoy that, enjoy what's being given to you, enjoy it day by day, and take it for what it is, and don't let it trigger you to the past, don't let it trigger you, trigger you to what other people have done to you. Now we have pride, Leo, of course you'd get pride. I love you, Lions, I do. I love myself, and I see myself in everyone. I would say it's more like you see this person in everyone. <laughs> I'm not trying to throw shade, we've all been there, we've all been there, we've all had those moments of they're just like my ex. Oh no, they're too much like my ex. Oh no, I can't do this again because I was I was already in a situation like this. We've all been there. We've all been there. Enjoy the moment with the situation or with this person. Kind of allow yourself to slowly surrender so that you can start to heal that, that, that pride, that fear coming from the ego, right? Where does fear come from? It comes from the ego. The ego is basically a, a survival mechanism. Think of it that way. And like I always say, I don't believe in ego death. I always believe in ego healing because we need our egos. <clears throat> they protect us. It does. That's the purpose of it in the 3D anyway. We don't need it in the other dimensions, but in the 3D, our egos are there to protect us and shield us from, you know, getting hurt. That is what it's for. If it's healthy, if it's overdeveloped, we get like this, right? We get too afraid to really enjoy some of the blessings in our life. And that's what's going on here, Leo. So enjoy the moment with this person or situation little by little and let it quiet that fear and anxiety, okay? I'm also hearing trust it trust it anything else you want my lions to be aware of anything else you want my lions to be aware of regarding this spread okay now we have got oh i like it we have peace i oh shit the colors are not that great a contrast um i am a being of a, wow i need new glasses i am a being of love and i release all negative energy leo I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. What did I just say? Let the joy, let the fun, let the sexual energy, let all the emotions, all that fun, yummy, gooey, ooey stuff, let it creep in, surrender to it and let it quiet that fear so you can have some peace with this and so you can actually enjoy it, okay? On the bottom, oh boy. You ready for this one, Leo? Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. 
You can't change it. Why hold on to it? Why hold on to it? Why imprint your past on someone else when they're not the same person? Why imprint that pain into something that is like so new and so fun and so joy joyful and just yummy? Why? 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 <laughs> right? Regret serves nobody. Like no, like truly nobody. I mean, like the epitome of regret. It's like, there's nothing you can literally do with regret, Leo. So don't go there. Don't go there. All right, let's get some advice from the spirit animal deck and then we'll wrap this up. What time is it? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Any advice for my lions regarding this spread? 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 Any advice from it? That's too many. That's too many spirits. Sorry, that's too many. Any advice from my lions regarding the spread? <laughs> Leo. Okay. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter, 28, which is a cyclical energy. So cycles closing, cycles opening. Like we said, a lot of you are coming out of something or putting some old shit away, some old woundings away to enjoy something new. Uh, white raven spirit, trust in magic. 66, a master number here. What did I just say? Something about trust. <laughs> clear out your wounds, Leo. Clear out the past. Let it go and just accept it for what it was. Your past, right? What's the past to you? It's the past. It's no longer. It's gone. It's lessons learned. That's what the past is, right? And then trust what's being given to you. Trust what's creeping into your life because you know it feels damn good. You want to resist it, but you know it feels damn good anyway. You got to trust, Leo. You got to trust. You got to trust that you've actually learned your lessons. Thank you. Let me put it that way. Sorry, Leah. I know. I'm like, I like, because I think that there's just so much charged energy here going on. It's like, I'm just really, ugh. Leah, you have to trust that you've learned your lessons and that you won't repeat the same mistakes, okay? Any other advice? Any other advice for my lions regarding this spread? Any other advice for my lions regarding this spread? <laughs> of course i love it we get the actual lion be generous of spirit another cyclical energy here 37 and sandpiper spirit be playful leo 51 breaking down to a six i love this this is be brave to enjoy oh my god leo leo be brave to enjoy this sandpiper spirit is my six of cups card in this deck okay and of course lion spirit <laughs> lion you um it is also about um being more vulnerable and some of you guys are having a hard time with that because of this Ten of Swords energy that's like sticking in your back still, okay? Uh, don't know what this person did. Like I said, for some, I do feel like a third party cheating situation here. Um, but this is like, give yourself permission to enjoy this, Leo, because you need to trust that you learn those lessons and that the past is staying in the past and that this is very blessed. This is very enjoyable. This is like a gift a little bit here for you, okay? For some of you, it's leading to a lot of healing as well over what has happened. So just go slow with it, but enjoy it and be vulnerable and open to it and allow yourself to have fun, okay? All right, let's see what other cards want to come out here. Any other advice for my lions? Oh, that card's been coming out for everybody, jeez. Any other advice for my lions regarding this spread? Got two other cards out here. Any other advice for my lions regarding this spread? Okay. Oh, perfect overall. Oh, yeah. I like it, Leo. So now we have Eagle Spirit 23, breaking down to a five, change and transformation. Uh, I can't see, sorry. Spirit has your back. With Koi Fish Spirit, there's always enough. 36, breaking down to a nine. If that'll focus. Please focus. Hold on, please, please. Oh, there we go, that's a little bit better. Koi fish spirit is about scarcity mindset, okay? And I feel like that's really rooted in ego for you and relating to the fear that you're carrying. Might make a second video just saying we might lose a second, okay? Eagle spirit is basically guiding you. Spirit's nudging you to this, not just nudging you, but you're getting pulled right into it. For some of you, you realize it's inevitable, it's unstoppable and you can't control it, control it and it's just gonna happen, 
right? Some of you definitely recognize that. But also spirit is, is also trying to let, like, you know, get in with you a little bit here so that you kind of understand that there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of, okay? Um, some of you are battling self-love too. I can feel that. Um, oh, it's kind of intense, Leo. Yeah, there's a few of you lions that not lacking self-love, but it's just, you could use a little more of it. You could use a little more of it. It's like, it's almost like you're close to that place of unconditional, that thank you, that's what it is. You're close to that place of unconditional love and spirit's guiding you to this person, getting you involved in this situation because spirit can, feels like you're ready. Cause it's like, hey, you're one step away from that unconditional love. And like, if you let yourself surrender, if you let yourself surrender and do the last little bit of healing you have to do and close this shit out once and for good, you're gonna get there. You're going to get there to that place of unconditional love. And then overall energy, Leo, peacock spirit, let it shine. 46, another cyclical energy. You have three cyclical energies here, okay? And a lot of uh, change energies as well and master numbers. Leo, open oh, open your freaking heart chakra. Mm -hmm. This text shit is making me insane. There we go. Open your heart chakra, speak your truth, speak from the heart, and just let it out let it out let yourself surrender let yourself enjoy this you're not going to make the same mistakes you did in the past it's okay to take it slow there's nothing wrong with that but don't fight it as well there's taking it slow and then there's resistance there is a difference there's a major difference there right um so just be very cognizant cognizant of that and don't be afraid to oh leo don't be afraid to let especially for those where you're done with a new person don't be afraid to show them who you really are don't be afraid to go there don't be afraid to show them who you really are wow really sweet uh leos i hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later have a great night leos namaste